Rolling a parchment cone is one of those things that's harder to describe than it is to show, kind of like tying your shoelaces. If you can imagine reading directions for that, it would be absolutely impossible, but any three-year-old can do it. Can three-year-olds do it? Is that an appropriate age? Sheet of parchment, cut into a rectangle. Gonna fold it corner to corner, this way. Crease it, grab a very sharp knife. Gonna slowly cut our way through. And then we've got a nice little triangle. So you're gonna take the short end of the triangle and put it in your dominant hand with the little flap going over like this. And then fold it over, roll your hand over towards the center. And so the idea is to get this point and then you can control it. You can slide the paper up to make a big cone, and slide it down, but you wanna keep this really tight right here. So once you have this formed, Use your four fingers to hold it flat. Tuck your thumb up underneath it. And now you can wrap this long piece around. Wrap it back around to the top of your hand. I'm holding it in place with my thumb. I'm gonna hold the cone with my other hand. Take this hand and take this loose tail and tuck it in. And then I can pull it like this to help ensure the tip end is pulled tight so you don't get anything leaking out of it when you put a filling in. And now you crease the top end, and it's a solid pastry cone. So start with this shorter end of the triangle, and you're gonna put your hand under it basically and hold it to your fingers with your thumb. You're gonna flip your hand over, all your fingers to the inside. All my fingers. All inside. your fingers inside. Flip it over, and then now, basically sliding this paper. It's trapped like, under your fingers. Just kind of like work it. I lost not, not it. I lost it. I believe it. Keep it at the first joint of your fingers. And pinch it under to your middle finger with your thumb, and then roll your hand over. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now where the paper is touching paper, reposition your fingers so your fingers aren't this all the way. And you can just slide it up and down. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So once you've got it sliding around, you want to slide it so that it makes a tight tip at a right angle with this. Yeah. Uh -huh. So just keep sliding until it tightens up and until you get about halfway where this tail meets this end right here. Okay, and so right now it's angled this way a little bit and mm -hmm. you want it to be up and down. So just keep slipping the paper around until you kind of work that angle around. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now without lifting your fingers up, yeah. get your thumb under there. Okay, and once mm -hmm. your thumb is holding it, get a really secure grip and you can pick it up. And now you're just gonna manually wrap this all the way around back to your thumb. And then I feel like I lost my tip. We we can still fix it. Okay, just okay. work with me. Uh -huh. Okay. So once you've got that there, hold it with the other hand. Scooting. I see, around. I see. I'm scooting yeah. it. I'm scooting it. It's kind of a feel, you know, it's really yeah. hard to describe it, but when yeah. you're doing it, it comes together. And now you can slide the paper back and forth until the tip tightens again. Yeah. And once the tip is tightened, then you take this long end mm -hmm. and just tuck it. Total parchment cone. I made a cone. Beep. I don't know how lefties would do this, man. That's that's tough. But I assume it. Let's let's try it. Maybe this will put me on an even playing field with beginners. Over your fingers. You're gonna roll over. It is really hard to do left-handed. Everything's harder. Bring my tip tight. Get it to be a right angle. Slide up. Yep. Okay. I have so much sympathy. Muscle memories quite the acquired thing. Okay. <laughs> my right hand wants to do it so bad. It's tight, I'm holding it with my right hand and tucking it in with my left. And there we go. Okay, I, that was significantly more challenging for me. That's my video. Thanks for coming to SeriousEats.com. It's been a pleasure having you here. Come back, y'all. Why are you still watching me? Get out of here.